Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Lungu back with another reaction video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And today, as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to Easter surprising 10 facts. Should Muslims celebrate Easter? If you're new to this channel, like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. We also do other things other than reactions, but if you have something you want us to react to concerning reactions, you can give us a link in the description box below and we'll do it for you. Other than reactions, we have a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. You can check us out. We post vlogs every other weekend and there's some pretty interesting videos up already, so feel free to check them out. Other than vlogs, we have a podcast. You can find it on i. You can find us on iTunes. Diving in with Funny and Jesse, and you have a Patreon account, Funny and Jesse. You can find us on social media, Funny and Jesse. Also, I have my own personal things. I write. I have I have a blog on WordPress called Blue. You can check it out, and I also write short points for my Instagram, Stephanie. So you can just check it out, read something, and just enjoy. Hope you guys are doing all right. And a big shout out to everyone that's been supporting us so far. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscri for subscribing. Thank you for interacting with us. Thank you for everything. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum. Muslims show great respect to Prophet Isa or Jesus peace be upon him. There were many important events during his lifetime. Muslims like to know about these events and compare the information with the Quran and Hadith. In Christianity, Easter is very important because they believe that in Easter, Jesus, peace be upon him, got his life back or woke up from his death. It is one of the biggest celebrations in the Christian world. But in the Quran, Surah Nisa, verse 157, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the Prophet Jesus, or Isa peace be upon him, was not killed. He was not crucified either. From the Suhi Hadith, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him to the sky where he is still alive. So, that is the reason why Muslims don't celebrate Easter. First, let's learn about some important facts about Easter. Fact number one. In Christianity, there are six weeks of fasting. It's called Lent. Lent starts on Wednesday and it is called Ash Wednesday. The actual length of Lent is 46 days. In these days, there are six Sundays and there are no fasting on Sundays. So there is actually 40 days of fasting. In these days, people try to control their need or try to give up any bad habit. The last Sunday of Lent is the Easter celebration. Fact number two. The last week of the 40 days fasting of Lent is the most important because during the last week of fasting, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, entered Jerusalem to spread Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law and order to the people. According to Christianity, the bad Jews killed Prophet Isa on Friday. And that day is called Good Friday. Then people put his dead body in a small room or a tomb. On Sunday, they believed that he got his life back and that event is called Easter. Fact number three. The name for Easter came from the word Easter. In the very old days, German people used to believe that Istre was a woman god for spring. They used to worship her for the beginning of spring.
Fact number four. During the winter, all the plants died. And starting from spring, all the plants would start to grow again. For the new growth, during the beginning, most cultures and religions have a special festival. For an example, the Romans had a festival called Hilaria. The Hindu religion has Holi. The Jewish religion has Priyum, and they also have Passover. Ancient pagan has Istre, and Christianity has Easter. Fact number five. In the very olden days, a part of the German people used to celebrate a Easter festival to worship their spring woman god. When the Christians first went to the Germans to celebrate Christianity, first they made a plan to stop German's evil festival Easter. The Christian priest thought, since Jesus peace be upon him got his life back during the springtime. He thought it would be a better idea to start a new Christian holiday in the springtime, and that holiday name would be called Easter, which sounded very close to the old festival name Easter. Ordinary people just wanted to have fun and enjoy their time. For them, it was not a big deal to change the name of the festival. Fact number six: Christian people did not know when they should celebrate Easter. Some people followed the Jewish calendar Passover celebration because, according to Christianity, during the end of the Jewish Passover week, Jesus, peace be upon him, got his life back. But the other Christian group did not like the Jewish calendar, so they wanted to celebrate their Easter celebration. At the beginning of spring. Fact number seven: When the Easter date was different in different places, in the year of 325 A.D., the king Constantine taught different church leaders to choose a fixed day to celebrate their Easter holiday. Finally, they decided Easter would be the first Sunday. After the first full moon of spring, so depending on the moon, Easter would be celebrated each year between March 22 and April 25. Fact number eight: the date of the Easter created another problem after hundreds of years. Back then, the old Julian calendar had a tiny problem. Every 100 years, that calendar had around one extra day. So many hundreds of years later, the date of Easter also started to change. To solve the Easter date problem, in 1582, Pope Gregory the 13th removed 10 days from the old calendar and started a new calendar, which is called. The Gregorian calendar. We still use this calendar today. In the old calendar, the New Year's celebration was during April 1st. But after the new calendar, the New Year celebration changed to January 1st. So in the beginning, some people did not accept the new calendar. They were used to celebrating April 1st as the Happy New Year. The people that started to follow the new calendar started to make fun of the people that still followed the old calendar, and some historians believe that's how April Fools started. Fact number nine: the Spring Woman God Istre loved bunnies very much. Usually during the springtime, more bunnies were born and there were more eggs. So the woman god Easter used bunnies and eggs as a new life symbol of spring. Fact number ten. Finally, in the old days, the church did not allow to eat eggs 
during the forty days of their fast. But chickens continue to give eggs during that time. So there were lots of extra eggs during that time. From the thirteenth century, Christian people started to paint those extra eggs and use those eggs for decoration. The red painted eggs symbolized the blood of Jesus, peace be upon him. So, these were the ten facts about Easter. Now, let's come to the main question: Why don't Muslims celebrate the Easter holiday? From the history, we can see that originally the name Easter came from a man-made female god, Istre. And the most important thing is that in the Quran, Surah Nisa, verse one fifty-seven, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said that the bad people could not kill Prophet Jesus or Isa peace be upon him. They could not even crucify the great Prophet. You can see his whole life history in. Our Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, story. So, according to all Muslim scholars, if Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, did not die, then there is no Easter for Muslims. So, what do you think? Should the Muslims really celebrate the Easter holiday? Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? Well, what if we told you that you can make that difference happen right now with our Ramadan fundraiser? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. One hundred percent of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawa mission, and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible, and sadaqa is zaria, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. As Ramadan is the best rewarding month of the year, please join our Ramadan fundraiser. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala accept your generosity. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Those are interesting facts. Um, I was just thinking to myself, why do we have to use the new calendar? <clears throat> Why can't we just use the old calendar? And there's many calendars in this world. You don't even know where to start from. Others are still behind when it comes to years. Like we're in twenty twenty. Others are in twenty twelve. It's just it's so much going on. Like I said, these are interesting things. Otherwise, the fact of not believing that Jesus died and not celebrating makes sense. Otherwise. It really does make sense. You can't celebrate something you don't believe in. If it was a new year for some people, how has it, how on earth has it become about Jesus being reborn again? How how do you decide for everyone saying no? This will no longer be the new year. This will be when Jesus comes from the rises from the dead. It's quite shocking that so many things have been changed about our uh, history or world history that. You even start wondering if we should even be following any of these holidays because it's just so so confusing. Otherwise, let me know what you think about these ten facts. If you've got any additions, feel free to comment below. And yeah, if you've got any suggestions, suggest below. We'll look into it. And thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.